This is the concept server feature. Since the early days of Semaphore, we've made, made available through the, the semantic enhancement server a high availability, read only version of the model. This has been decided, designed to guide users at query time towards concepts that um, documents might well have been classified about at um, index time. For 5.8, we've combined with our friends in the MarkLogic database team to create a new high availability read-only version of the um, model that has a lot of functional overlap with the semantic enhancement server However, it's, this one's based on the MarkLogic database, so we're using all the richness that provide that provides to us. And we've taken the opportunity to refresh the API for the concept server so that the data returned is much more flexible and better represents the, the structure of the model itself. So, I'll just show you a, a few examples of what you can get out. As I say, it's a, a pure JSON response, so there's a simple um, application status just to um, check it's alive and what version you've got installed. You can list the models you've got installed. You can get the model list concepts out of the model. So in this case, I'm just selecting one concept, saying, give me this one concept. When you do get concepts out of the model, um, you can filter what you want. So this, in this case, I've said, I only want the pref labels, the UI and the ID. And that means if I get lots of concepts, the amount of data I have to carry around is much smaller. So things become a lot more lightweight. And in fact, I can even go down to pref labels just in the one language. I have a range of sophisticating filtering, sophisticated filtering I can do at query time. So for instance, if I want all the concepts with a launch date of the 15th of July 1975, there's my query. I can combine um, filters to have quite a rich um, interrogation process between the model and the downstream systems. One of the issues where this really scores over the semantic enhancement server is where you're using the um, concept server as a server for downstream systems. Many downstream systems want to get large chunks of the model out of the read-only version with one call. And so the concept server has been tuned so that data is streamed to the calling application, which means it's got a much lower memory footprint. It's designed from the bottom up to be able to, to support these large steps, large scale queries. And so we'll be better able to um, serve demanding clients at the API, API level for elsewhere in the enterprise.